Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch and today we are taking a look at gaming and benchmarks of the Coolpad Dazen 1. It's going on sale tomorrow for Rs. 7000. Comes with 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, a 64-bit Snapdragon 410. So let's start with the temperature rating, 33 in the front and 33.5 at the back. So at this price, it's competing with the Lenovo A6000 Plus and the Redmi 2U Euphoria. So we'll see how this performs in gaming. The first game we are playing is Riptide GP2. I don't see any distortion in brightness or colors. The gameplay is very smooth as well. You can see that right here. Even at faster frame rates, I don't see any lag, any frame drop till now. Now we are playing Frontline Commando D-Day. Now the speakerphone here could have been slightly louder, but it's not tinny. And here again, gameplay is very smooth. Moreover, the display has good color reproduction, adequate brightness as well. Good contrast levels too. I can distinguish between different objects quite easily. No ghosting, no freezing and no frame drops till now. Now we'll also check heating issues if there are any on the device. Moreover, apps and app data both are movable to the external storage, even though you have a 16 gig ROM on the device. Great bonus there. We are playing Subway Surfers now, a fast paced game. Again, very smooth touch response here, good gameplay. Now we are going to move on to FIFA 15 and we'll check on temperatures. So we have been playing games for about 10 odd minutes now. Gameplay again is smooth, great touch response. The display has good color reproduction. It is a 720p panel. Now, as I've already said, the speakerphone could have been slightly louder, but you have app and app data, both movable to the external storage, a huge bonus on even the U Euphoria. Very smooth gameplay over here. And you can see right here, this phone doesn't heat up while playing games. 39 in the front, about 39 in the back as well. So no heating issues whatsoever. Now we are going to move on to some more heavier games and check it out again. So right now we are playing Real Racing 3 and very smooth gameplay here as well. Now this is a 720p HD display and I don't see any jagged edges in graphics here. Smooth gameplay, smooth touch response, wide viewing angles on this display as well. It seems color accurate too. Now we are moving on to Dead Trigger 2. We are playing this game in high settings. And I do notice slight hint of lag here. Frame rates are consistent. I haven't noticed any frame drop till now in any of the games that I've tried. Now we are playing Nova 3 and we'll check temperatures in a short while from now. So we have been again playing games for 7-8 odd minutes. And here is very smooth. Gameplay is superb. Haven't noticed any frame drop till now. Panning across, zooming in and out. Everything seems smooth. Great touch response too. So overall this phone seems a good choice for gamers. Since app and app data both are movable, you have 16 gigs of internal storage available too. And this phone is performing brilliantly at gaming. So price at rupees 7000. This might be a good choice for people looking to game on a device, even for longer durations. Now we are playing Asphalt 8 again in high settings. So let's check after this game if this phone heats up. So we'll play this game for about 2 to 3 minutes. So total gameplay is about 25 to 30 odd minutes. That's including the loading time for different games. And here you again see very smooth gameplay. I haven't noticed any frame drop, no lag whatsoever. Consistent frame rates, again great for gaming. Moreover, I don't feel this phone is getting hot. And we've already seen it hasn't got in our previous tests as well. Very smooth gameplay over here. So the race is about to finish. Let's check out temperatures now. So it's about 41 degrees in the front, you can see there. And again, about 41 degrees in the back too. It's actually a bit less. So no heating issues with this device whatsoever, even after extended gaming. Now we are playing Leo's Fortune. Again, colors and graphics do look very good on this display. Now this display isn't as good as the Redmi 2, but seems better than the Euphoria. Good gameplay over here, smooth touch response as well, always a great bonus. Now we are playing Need for Speed Most Wanted. 
a high-end arcade racer and absolutely smooth gameplay. Consistent frame rates, haven't noticed any frame drops and it's the same with all the games that we have tried till now. Haven't noticed any major lag anywhere. So folks, that was the gaming review part of this video. Overall, games play very well on this phone. It doesn't heat up while playing games. You have 2 gigs of RAM, so multitasking isn't an issue either. So we got 26 to 8 on Antutu. Again, similar to the Redmi 2 Lenovo A6000 Plus Euphoria as well as the Moto E 4G. All of which are based on the same chipset, Snapdragon 410. Now we got 52.4 FPS on Ana Mark II, but we have already seen that gaming was a non-issue for this device. On Quadrant, we got a score of 11391. Again, similar to the A6000 Plus and Xiaomi Redmi 2, but trumped by the U Euphoria, which scored above 13,000. Next up, we ran Velamo, we got a score of 2045, similar to the Redmi 2, A6000 Plus and Euphoria. And 804 on Metal, same chipset, pretty similar scores, and we have a 5-point multi-touch display. But if we talk of usability, general performance, I actually found it to be quite fluid. And we also saw gaming was very good on this device. So folks, that was our benchmarks as well as gaming review of the Coolpad Dazzle 1. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about this device, do hit us in the comment section. And as always, have a great day.